Hey everyone, welcome to the laziest new Vim talk. My name is Abhishek and here's some info about me. I'm here to talk about lazy loading. But before that, let me ask you guys a question. Why do you use NeoVim? You can kind of make a mental note with your answers. Is it because it's blazingly fast? Is it because it provides a ton of personalization uh, options? Is it because it's fun? Is it because you can tell other people that you use NeoVim? Or is it all of the above? So for me, it's the last one. But uh, this talk will be all about the first point, making NeoVim blazingly fast. So what is lazy loading? Uh, lazy loading is a strategy that lets you load plugins based on certain things happening in your editor. Those things can be uh, event being triggered, a command being called by you, a key press happening from your site or you editing a specific file type right so now that brings the question why should you even care right NeoVim is working pretty well for you but there's one thing that you would have definitely noticed that what you started out with the stock NeoVim your current setup is definitely slower than that right so the whole uh, aim of this talk is to motivate you to get your setup back to its blazingly fast roots without losing out on any functionality and yeah i have a couple of stats listed down here so you can see that across the board it gives me almost 10 times faster startup times uh, if you are interested in gathering this stat for yourself, you can run the following command and we start up time and then pass it a file and it will dump all of the startup information there. Now we'll be going through each of these conditions uh, and the first one is events. This is for plugins that you want to load when specific editor events occur. I have listed a couple of them here. First ones are buff read pre and buff new file. So these are specifically for plugins uh, that modify your buffer behavior somehow. Some examples would be Tricitor, LSP0, Lua line, Git Science, etc. So I have a couple more uh, in my setup, but you can check the spec file later on and find out more for yourself next one is insert enter this is for plugins that you want to load only when you are entering the insert mode right so if you are not making any uh, changes in the insert mode these plugins would never get loaded so common examples would be cmp the copilot plugin lua snippet auto pairs anything that basically works on the insert mode next one is lsp attach this only gets triggered when the lsp gets attached to neovim or basically when it becomes active and here you basically want to put the plugins that depend on lsp right so for me i have lsp saga and lsp lines here and then finally i have very lazy which is a lazy and whim event and it is triggered at the end of the lazy loading life cycle and yeah you can check that life cycle with the lazy profile command and here you ideally want to keep uh, the plugins that you want to load but they are not super priority right so for me it's which key notify and a tmux plugin uh, and you can do some cool things with lazy loading as well so you can actually conditionally load a uh, plugin right so let's say for this one uh, in the event if you see i have i'm passing in a function and what that does is it will check neovim is running inside tmux only then load this plugin otherwise do nothing 
right so that's also a possibility with lazy loading next we have commands and this is pretty straightforward uh, so this will only load plugins when you are calling a particular command and these are just some of the examples so co-author is a plugin that i had written for adding co-authors to your git commit messages nerdy is something that you can use to quickly find and insert nerd font glyphs uh, and that's actually the plugin that i used for preparing this talk as well if you noticed all of the glyphs i have uh, spread across this deck so if you noticed you can use both a single command and a table of commands so either way works next we have keys so this these plugins will only get loaded on specific key events right so common ones would be for me wilder wilder is a plugin that you saw on my editor the pop-up command palette like thing then surround and vim pretty common plugin comment uh, for adding comments and the flash plugin so for comment and flash you can find the config in here uh, in my lua file so let me open up flash and you can see it has this key structure right so based on certain key presses only the flash plugin gets loaded and same thing for comment you can see that it only gets loaded when i do gcc in normal mode and gc in visual mode all right next one is file types again super straightforward these would be plugins that you only want to load when you are editing some specific file right and from the examples of plugins you can guess that when I'm only editing Lua file or a Vim file only then I want to uh, require or load NeoDev only when I'm editing a Ruby file I want features from the Rails plugin and you can actually combine uh, these as well these conditions so if you check on the markdown one not only it checks for the markdown preview toggle command to be triggered but it will also check that which file type we are on currently and based on that it will load the plugin yeah these are some of the links that you can refer to for more info and vim 2k is the uh, distro that i maintain and personally use for neovim uh, next one is the lazy spec so this file that has all of the lazy loaded plugins and you can refer to it if you need any info or if you want to see how i have configured lazy loading on nvim 2k and then finally you have the link to this slide and yeah that was all hopefully it helps you make your neovim just a little bit faster and yeah these are all of the places that you can find me and i'm grateful to the organizers to give me this opportunity really glad to be part of the community so thanks a lot and see you in the next one bye bye